In this video, we're going to discuss responsibility and opportunity for building more sustainable business models. We're going to introduce the distinction between responsibility and opportunity as drivers. We're going to talk about how that can lead companies to create more positive externalities and less negative ones. And we're going to talk about the prioritization of which externalities to address and why. So we're going to talk about responsibility here, responsibility for externalities. Because all companies have externalities, but not all companies are responsible for those externalities. Exactly, because if you contrast that responsibility with something else, it would be instances where companies simply see an opportunity to address externalities that are out there, someone else's pollution, someone else's problem, and build a business model around that. And those are two different ways of creating a more sustainable outcome. On the one hand, taking responsibility for your own externalities, and on the other hand, finding the opportunities in doing something about the externalities of others. So a company then is responsible for doing something about its own pollution, its own shadow sides. At the other hand, you have the opportunity for companies to point out other companies' <laughs> pollution and again, their negative externalities and look upon that as an opportunity to create a more sustainable business model. This has been one of the developments in, the, in this field recently, this idea that problems are really just innovation opportunities. And the shadowy sides of other companies can be a source of revenue for me. If I can make the technology that can solve that problem, I can sell them the solution. Managers then, who wants to design a sustainable business model, they need to identify their shadow sides, their negative externalities, and they need to identify the positive externalities, the sunny side of the, of the company. And importantly, they also need to understand whether their sto stakeholders believe that they have a responsibility to do something about some of these externalities. That can both be on the downside, that they have a responsibility for doing less bad, but it can also be on the upside, because sometimes, especially for big corporations, stakeholders will also expect them to take responsibility to generate positive outcomes for society and the environment. This is really about prioritizing what sustainability issues to, to, to handle in the specific business model. What shadow sides should you concentrate your efforts on and what sunny sides should you try to handle? This is really a strategic issue for companies and today most companies are working very systematically with this. Very often this is captured in what is referred to as materiality analysis. This means determining what are the material issues. That really means what are the most important sustainability issues. And when you say important, you're talking about this along two dimensions. On the one hand, what are the sustainability issues that are seen as important from the stakeholder's point of view? And along the other dimension, what are the sustainability issues that are seen as important from the point of view of the company itself? If you take both of those two dimensions into account, you will have a pretty good picture of what are the sustainability issues you need to take responsibility for, but also what kinds of sustainability issues can be a source of opportunity to build new value propositions, perhaps to build entirely new business models. So this is an interplay. It's an interplay between the company and the managers and the people within and the stakeholders outside of the company. You need to identify the problems that you're creating and what kind of problems that you can solve for the stakeholders and for the, the greater, greater community. So on the one hand, there's a strategic dimension to this. How can we make our business models better, smarter, more well-performing? On the other hand, as the word responsibility indicates, there's also a moral dimension. Understanding the kinds of things your stakeholders see you as being responsible for. And the companies that are best at dealing with their sustainability issues are typically have one eye on each of those two dimensions. What are we responsible for? And how can we use sustainability problems as opportunities for profitable growth? You cannot talk about sustainability without also talking about and thinking about responsibility. What are you responsible for? And are you also, at the other hand, responsible for doing good? 
It's easy to think that, okay, you're responsible for doing less bad, but are you also then responsible for doing more good in the business model? And as we've talked about in this video, here is a back and forth dance in a way between the stakeholders and the company. No company is an island and over time, no company can maintain a sustainable business model without really understanding and engaging with stakeholders inside and outside the company to identify and manage sustainability issues.